Hey, welcome back. My name is Cam Fleury and in this video you're going to learn how to play a rim shot properly. You're also going to learn some tips and tricks on how to improve your dynamics with rim shots, what it sounds like when you don't play a rim shot as opposed to playing a rim shot, and all things rim shot. Can I say rim shot any more than I just did? Let's get right into today's video. One way to know if you're playing rim shots consistently is to just take a look at your drumsticks. If you are playing rim shots consistently, your drumstick's gonna look something like this, like a beaver got out of hand and you just started gnawing away at your drumstick. Let's look at this a little closer and while it might not be productive to eat your sticks up like that because it can cost quite a bit, I wanna show you the benefits of playing a proper rim shot on your snare drum and you'll notice it audibly. I'll record a couple tracks and we'll go through it and I'll let you know what is being played as a rim shot and what's not being played as a rim shot. I want to let you know that if you're trying to gain more control or build speed and endurance on the drum set, I've got a free mini course for you down in the description below. Just click on the link. It's completely free. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. It's yours to keep for a lifetime. You get 15 exercises with PDF downloads and you can interact with the rest of the community that's inside of this mini course. So if that's something you want to do and you would like to progress, on the double bass pedals on your drumming journey, then I highly suggest clicking the link below and you'll get it immediately. Now back to the lesson. We're trying to accomplish two things here. We're trying to make sure that the stick actually makes contact with the rim and the, the batter head itself. And by doing that, it's gonna create some sort of a popping noise. It's gonna be noticeably louder if you do that as opposed to just playing with the tip of your drumstick on the batter head. You've probably experienced this before. The second reason why we're trying to accomplish a rim shot is so that we can have consistency and loudness in our playing. If we're trying to make a nice drastic contrast in between our grace notes, our ghost notes, and the accented notes, this is a sure fire way to make that apparent in our playing. I've been noticing more and more a lot of other drummers are doing this and this is what I want you to avoid when you're playing your rim shots. When they're going in for the rim shot, they're not letting the stick rebound out of their hand. They're just keeping it hard on the surface. The problem with that is that energy has nowhere to go except back up and through your arm. So what that's gonna do is prolong exposure to injury. And a lot of times too, like in construction, if you're working on a jackhammer or anything that vibrates for a long period of time, it's going to cause nerve damage or trigger finger where your finger locks up. Yes, it happened to me from jackhammering on bridges. So I want you to keep that in mind. Proper technique is very important. If you're gonna be playing rim shots, you need to let that stick bounce back, okay? And I don't mean like this, not having complete control over the rebound. What I'm saying is that we don't want to force it into the head. And if you do that on your own, if you try it on your snare, you'll notice the tension in your elbow and that is very painful. That can cause tennis elbow. So I want you to keep that in mind when you're playing. Just kind of let that stick float. You want to be able to keep control of it, but you don't want to lose control, if that makes sense. The second thing I'd like you to take note of is that the rim of my snare is actually sitting above my leg. And that also includes even if I'm playing double pedals. If I want to play a solid rim shot while I'm playing double pedals, my legs won't get in the way and that won't deter me from messing up my double pedal pattern. What my suggestion is to you is to bring your snare height up just a little bit. Now, you might have to adjust your seat height accordingly because that's going to throw off your whole setup. But if you want to do a proper rim shot, I suggest that your leg's not in the way because you're going to end up bruising the top of your leg. And it's happened to me before, long before I ever knew what the hell I was actually doing. So when you do your rim shot, you want complete clearance. And that means for both legs. If that means that you have to flatten out your snare and it's a little difficult for you and all you're getting are actual rim stick clicks, then you can adjust it accordingly. If you gotta bring it up a little bit, by all means, try that out too. So this video is nice and short and sweet. I wanted to get right to the point and cut out all the fluff. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or anything you'd like to add that I missed in this video that can help other drummers around the world, then please do 
Comment your suggestions, your ideas more importantly, down below. And remember that you can do this. I know you can do this. If you get frustrated, take some time away, come back and you'll get it next time, I promise. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name's Cam Flurry, and I'll see you in the next one.